Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Perkins. I am a principal game designer at Wizards of the Coast, and I worked on a project called Candlekeep Mysteries. Candlekeep Mysteries is an anthology of D&D adventures that take place in the Forgotten Realms setting, but are easily importable into your home campaign world. All of the adventures take place in this place called Candlekeep, or rather they begin there. And then in the course of finding a book, heroes are led on a quest, which might take them to other parts of Candlekeep or to other places in the world, or in some cases to other planes of existence. But the whole premise of Candlekeep Mysteries is these are 17 standalone adventures that uh, you can run uh, one at a time, integrate into your home campaigns, and use to basically engage your players in a mystery for a session or two. Each of these adventures is pretty short and should be able to be finished in a relatively small amount of time. But each adventure presents a mystery that the characters have to solve, hence the title. Every adventure has different foes. Every adventure's mystery is distinctive, uh, leads to sort of surprising twists and turns. So no two of the adventures really play out the same way. And there are different flavors uh, to each of the mysteries as well. Uh, some of them are quite fun. Others are kind of terrifying to uncover. For instance, in one of the mysteries, you're sort of led to try to solve of some heinous crimes that were committed long ago and nobody's been able to sort of crack the case. And the book is the key that sort of leads you into that investigation. In another mystery, you find a map stuffed in a book. And if you follow that map, it leads you to a mysterious place which you can then explore. One of the other cool elements of this project and one of the things that really kind of inspired me to want to work on it is, Every adventure is written by a different author uh, who brings their unique voice to the product. And to find these authors, I went out into our D&D community. It sort of started with a Twitter call. I sent out a tweet which said basically, hey, D&D players, who are some of the writers that you admire who are doing really cool stuff in the D&D space? And I did it innocuously. I wasn't alluding to any specific purpose or intent, but I got a huge amount of feedback, people telling me who their favorite authors were in the community. And as I was taking in all those names, several names came up more than once. And then one by one, I reached out to them and asked them if they'd be interested in contributing to this anthology. And so if you are engaged with the D&D community, a lot of the people who worked on these adventures will be familiar names to you. Candlekeep is the Forgotten Realms setting's biggest library. It's a library fortress on the coast where thousands of books are stored on shelves in vaults, hidden away, and some of these books are quite mysterious and they harbor secrets. The premise of each adventure is the characters are either looking for a book in Candlekeep or they stumble upon one. Either way, the book points them toward a mystery that needs to be solved. And it's pursuing that mystery that leads the characters on their adventure. It is a magical library. It's got sort of magical defenses built around it to protect it. It feels like a medieval fortress, but it's also sort of a community. And what's great about Candlekeep is it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic hub for a campaign. It's the kind of place where characters can keep coming back to it and it never gets boring. They can constantly explore new parts of it and unearth its mysteries and Campaigns can be based there, and they can strike out from Candlekeep to other places and explore. And so it's very rich and deep, and it's got a nice history. But at the same time, it's easily transplantable. You can just take Candlekeep and drop it into your home campaign, anywhere where a library would exist. And it can be the hub in your own campaign. That was very appealing to me. 
Uh, the other thing that was appealing to me was this theme of discovering a book, opening a book and seeing what secrets lie within it. One of the cool little features of Candlekeep is in order to get into the library, the payment is you have to give the monks of Candlekeep a book they haven't seen before or a book that does not currently exist in the library's archives. And so if you can imagine how old this place must be and how many books they have, there's a rich and storied history kind of built in and um, there's no end to the number of books that can be found here. And one of, the, one of the fun things about this is we get to see some of these books that other people have brought to the library for various and sundry reasons. And not only that, we get to peer inside them. We have art showing all of these books and we get to look inside them and see what nugget of adventure is waiting to be discovered. And I think there's a sort of a cool message there about the power of books and how they can lead us on journeys. And I relish the opportunity of building an anthology of adventures that sort of embraced that theme. All standalone adventures and yet all linked by this idea of discovering the secrets in books. And so I think that has a tremendous appeal to me and I hope it has a tremendous appeal to um, DMs as well. All the writers uh, were approached with the same assignment, which is come up with the name of your book and the mystery it contains. And one of the initial challenges of the project was making sure that all the books were distinctive from one another and all the mysteries were different. My job was to read through them, provide feedback so that they could implement the feedback in their revised final drafts. And that's what they ultimately turned over to me. And then the rest of my job is basically just building a book out of these adventures uh, that I was given. Working with the editors to polish the text, working with the art director to create art for all of the adventures and to draw maps for all of the adventures. And one of the most favorite parts of a project like this for me is at the end when I'm actually laying out the book and seeing how it all fits together and seeing how each adventure really has its own feel, its own heart. So what the writer ends up seeing is their adventure laid out with the art to accompany it, which is always a magical experience. As a writer myself, the favorite part of my project is seeing how the artists interpret my work and the scenes that they bring to life that were just, you know, imaginings in my mind up to that point. And then, of course, the writers also get to see how their adventure changed as a result of the polishing work of the editors and the feedback from the playtesters. So my hope is that their takeaway is that they're really happy with how things turned out. I, I certainly hope they are. I'm very proud of their work. I'm very proud of the adventures. I love how beautifully original they all are. And I know, based on the playtest feedback, that thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of groups out there in the world are gonna play these and have a great time.